Welcome back to the Tactical Family Channel. Today we're doing episode 5 in our series, Ammo Stockpiling. And that's right, we have more shotgun ammo. I'm a big fan of the shotgun. I like the shotgun. I like the power behind the shotgun. So I've been picking up a lot of different type of ammunition for the shotgun. Also, all this ammunition that I am showing, I will be doing some videos on firing it, uh, penetration, so forth, so we can see how the different types of ammunition actually function and work. So today in front of us, we have some burn -it key ammunition. This is the burn -it key KO. I found out about the burn -it key ammo about two years ago, and it caught my interest with the power and with the different types of burn -it key ammunition that was out there. So I've been searching for the past two years for it. Some of it I was able to get right away. Others I was not able to get right away, and I've been slowly able to get the different types of ammunition from them. But again, today we have the Bernicke KO ammunition in front of us. Again, this is for a 12 gauge. I have 110 shot shells in front of me here. And let's go ahead and take a closer look at the specs. Alrighty, so as we take a closer look at this Bernicke KO, again, 12 gauge, uh, it's a one ounce slug, as you guys can see. And you can see the slug, and then you can see the wad behind it. So the muzzle velocity on this, uh, the actual energy when it leaves the barrel is 2645 and the velocity is 1650. And then they have a small chart on the back as you can see and kind of gives you the specs of the energy and velocity as it drops the further and further it goes out. Now this is for both smooth and rifled barrels. I have fired this only specifically in an indoor range though. So again, I will be getting that video on actually seeing how it kind of hits. We'll do maybe some ballistic gel, uh, maybe some wood, and um, maybe we'll even do some concrete bricks and so forth to kind of see how it really performs. All right, so again, we have 110 shot shells of Bernicke KO 12 gauge ammunition in front of us. This was one of our latest pickups. Again, um, stockpiling the ammunition, preparing for July 1st when... The new ammo law comes into effect if you live here in California. I definitely highly recommend you going out there now. Um, you don't necessarily have to buy, you know, thousands upon thousands of rounds of ammunition, but, you know, if you can spend a little bit of money here or there, get some boxes, or if you can go ahead and buy a case, you know, I would definitely say stock up now because once that law goes into effect here in a few months, um, we will be having to pay for a background check and they will be tying the type of ammunition, how much ammunition and everything to your name and to your address. So again, another episode in our ammo stockpiling series. Keep a lookout for more to come. I'm trying to get these up uh, as quickly as I possibly can. If you guys have any suggestions or comments, please leave those. If you guys have any type of ammunition in mind that you'd like to see if I can acquire, get, test, or even just stock up on that you guys might think is a good type of ammunition, please let me know. Thank you everybody for coming by, checking out the video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, and you guys have a good day.